Welcome to today's episode of Reflective Hour with Tammy Tony Butler. I'm your host today, but we all know who the host of this show is, and that's Christ. Holy Spirit, come. Come have your way in this time that we have together. This is only ever about you and your glory and your peace that surpasses all understanding. It's only about your will, your way, your love, your protection, your peace that surpasses all understanding. Have your way, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, we just call for peace and healing and strength in this time that we have together. Today, we're going to be reading a scripture that's close to my heart because it brings God truth into your current situation. It brings hope, freedom, displaces fear, and gives strength and endurance for every trial you're facing. It provides you a way to seek healing and truth, to seek God's word for comfort, to draw strength from the wellspring of living water, even when you feel depleted. This is a beautiful psalm. Actually, it's a beautiful proverb. Proverb 3. I often go to the Psalms for comfort when I try to sleep or I need peace. They really speak to you. They're like songs, comfort. Today I'll be reading out of Proverbs. They also provide me comfort. Proverbs 3. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring help to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be overflowing. Then your barns will be filled to overflow. And your vats will brim over with a new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline. And do not resent his rebuke. Because the Lord disciplines those he loves. As a father, the son, he delights in. Blessed is the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding. For she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Those who lay hold of her will be blessed. By wisdom, the Lord 
laid the earth's foundation. By understanding, he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge, the deeps were divided. And the clouds let drop the dew. My son, preserve sound judgment and discernment. Do not let them out of your sight. They will be life for you. An ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety. And your feet will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being snared. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it is in your power to act. Do not say to your neighbor, come back later, I'll give it tomorrow, when you now have it with you. Do not plot harm against your neighbor who lives trustfully near you. Do not accuse a man for no reason when he has done you no harm. Do not envy a violent man or choose any of his ways. For the Lord detests a perverse man, but takes the upright into his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers, but gives grace to the humble. The wise inherit honor, but fools he holds up to shame. Wow. Proverbs 3 out of the Life Application Study Bible, the New International Version. That's power. Powerful, powerful. The Word of God. It's living, breathing, sharper than a two-edged sword. It brings us peace and joy and hope and healing. We need wisdom. Pray for it. Pray for understanding. It's yours. Ask God for it. We need that now more than ever. As a body of believers, united under one head, which is Christ. We are to pray for each other. We are to show love to each other. We are to accept each other as they are. We're not to judge. God's the only judge. We're only to worship, to trust, obey, walk in faith, and not fear. There's no fear in perfect love. That's what Christ offers to those who believe in him. Mm. He is the great I am. He is the way maker. He is the redeemer, the comforter. Everything he is is in his name. Draw strength from him today. As you reflect on your journey, your healing journey, As you look at how far you've come. Don't judge by man's judgment. Judge by yourself. Look how far you've come. You've done remarkably well for the cards that you were dealt at birth or as a child. You're fearfully, beautifully, and wonderfully made daughter and son of the king. You have the grace and mercy you need to get through this day. The strength to get out of bed. The strength to get up and go pray. To seek God. Don't turn back. Don't go towards the past. Tether into the future of hope. Don't worry about tomorrow. 
Today has enough trouble of its own, but choose joy. Despite anything, choose joy. Choose hope and love and freedom that walking with Christ brings. Joy, I choose joy. He's waiting, he's waiting at the well. Will you go take a drink? Will you reach out that hand like the man with the withered hand for continued healing? Will you let him guide you, strengthen you, keep you? Or will you keep trying to force your own will? Mm. Rebellious, stubborn spirits, we must surrender to his will. He is a good father and he knows best and he protects us. We are the sheep of his pasture. And he watches over us because he's a good shepherd. Tether into him. Let him light your path. If you've fallen, if you've fallen, maybe you did something, you took a drink, when you had had a long history of sobriety. Maybe you're beating yourself up. There's no judgment in Christ, no condemnation. Repent. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to heal you, to help you. Call a friend. Go to a church service. Go to a meeting. Don't stay in that pit of despair. Rise up. Get out of it. Walk in freedom and victory. It's yours. Marinate in that proverb. Get into the Psalms. Marinate in God's word. For it is that truth, that light, that will heal you, set you free of any addiction strengthen you, guide you. Choose life. Choose healing. Choose hope. Say goodbye to the past once and for all. Surrender it. By his stripes, ye were healed. Let this be the day that you truly lay that addiction at the foot of the cross, that you truly do surrender everything that you have to knowing that Jesus was born of a virgin, died on the cross, was resurrected, and ascended to the right of the Father in heaven. Fully God, fully man. Ask him to be the Lord and Savior of your life. Not your will, but his. Let him rule over your life. Surrender it to him. You've tried everything else. Nothing's worked. Your way to isn't working. Today is the day to do something different. Choose a new path. Choose the path of light and hope and freedom that the cross brings. He died so we could live free. Tether into him, into his truth. Leave the addiction there. Never to pick it up again. Cry out to him he's waiting. You will be healed and restored. Ask the Holy Spirit to come live inside of you after you've repented, after you've prayed that prayer in the beginning, asking him to be the Lord and Savior of your life. Speak to him and just, he knows everything anyway. He already knows what we've done. Just repent of any unforgiveness that's in your heart. Let go. Let go of the bitterness, anything. The rebellion, let it all go. Tether into him, seek his truth, seek his healing. You'll be set free, full of joy, strength, no fear, confidence and boldness, that living a life of faith in Lord Jesus Christ. That's today's episode of Reflective Life with Tammy Tony Buck.